we are now leaving Lynn Water Caravan Park camping site uh, and heading to Edinburgh Town. We have made it, the uh, destination of our journey. Uh, the van is behind me and Edinburgh Castle is right there. So we have made it. Now we are gonna go and get some lunch somewhere, some brunch, cause we've uh, just had coffee this morning. So we're gonna have some brunch. And then um, I think we're gonna sort of stealth camp near here. So we're gonna be stealth camping in Edinburgh underneath the castle. So they are the operating hours. We're parked here and the castle is there. Gotta have a look here, haven't we? Yeah. Gotta have a look at the Knights of Vault. <laughs> Edinburgh, beautiful. One of my favorite cities. Real Scottish kilts. Caddies and witchery. Ooh, skulls. Looking for some food, some lunch. We think we found something. Looks good. Steakhouse. All right, so we made it to where are we? Miller, Miller and Carter Steakhouse, and it looks pretty nice. Let's see what the burger's like. I just ordered a nice uh, bacon and cheese burger. So, let's see what it's like. Yeah. 
check this out. Mm -hmm. So we just got back to the van and um, there's another van behind us <laughs> so it looks like he's got the same idea and what we're thinking is we're probably just gonna stay there we're gonna the time now is half three our ticket runs out at our parking ticket runs out at 3 30 so it's free from 6 30 so this is gonna be where we're gonna stay for New Year's Eve in the heart of Edinburgh underneath the castle right next to it so once 6 30 kicks in we're gonna get out of the van we're gonna go back into town into the main drag and uh, start enjoying New Year's Eve and then come back to the van afterwards after midnight so that's the plan so we actually got busted uh, one of the residents saw the van and um, he asked us to move and I didn't want to leave it there so now we've, we've parked just there behind me and you can see we're still right underneath the castle so there's the van and there's the castle just spotted a camper doing the same thing hello mate are you the bbc yes yeah okay. where's your security uh, he's here somewhere i know he is where is he yes is he over there because uh, i was supposed to be doing it i got offered this job that's all ah, right. to do the yes. security yes. That's all. He's, he's Somewhere, yeah, I think he's there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be. Uh, not going to be like it should have been. And uh, I was gutted. We. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, have a good night. Anyway. He's gone with the, the reporter and the producer. Of ah, okay. Call. All right. That's all right. I was just going to say hello because I nearly got this job. That's all. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I work for the same company. All right. I think yeah. that. Um, I think we'll be back here at some point. Yeah, that's all right. I was just going to say hello. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm just here for for a bit of a holiday, but you know, yeah. a bit of a break. What time are you back? That's all right. I'm. We'll I'm just, or yeah, I'm around. <laughs> all right. Don't we'll get me. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I was just having a chat. That's the the BBC. That's the BBC truck, and <laughs> that's the job I nearly got. <laughs> ah, yeah, just looking at working with the uh, the BBC. Did you say so? Um, no, the, the this, the guy that's looking after him with close protection, he's gone off with the uh, reporter somewhere. Like everywhere in uh, Edinburgh there's some sort of witchery or witches or or something like that. This is a restaurant called 
the witchery and yeah it's just like a creepy witchy warlicky <laughs> creepy old creepy old restaurant and there's, there's a real feeling of the occult in Edinburgh Edinburgh Grand and the toy soldiers what? They tried to screw up our New Year's Eve, but we didn't let them. <laughs> what are you having there, baby? Mojito. Look at that. Oh, the food is very good. That was very good. Yep. <laughs> we tried here, but they are fully booked. Fully <laughs> booked. It's New Year's Eve. Of course, they are fully booked. Yeah, all the good restaurants were really sort of packed out. So we tried the Ivy here. Gordon Ramsay there all packed out so we could get into the little curry place that was all right that was very nice <laughs> hmm. right so we've got the van sort of prepped we've seen the police go past twice um, but there's the van there and then there's the castle just above us we're good until 8 30 tomorrow so let's see if we make it through the night i think we're going to be all right but i don't know we may get that knock on the window um we just had our nice curry we're gonna it's it's almost 11 o'clock now so we're going to get in the van all the bars here are closing and they're closed because of the nonsense so we're going to uh let's just celebrate it ourselves in the van but at least we're here and we've had a good time but it is really quiet
Well, this isn't Edinburgh. <laughs> it is. Eye Mouth Harbour. And it's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, we came here last night. Very last minute. We just sort of... Edinburgh wasn't working, you know, we, we were convinced we were going to get moved on, so we came here. Yeah, so Eye Mouth Harbour, and it's stunning. And there's a big fat seal in the harbour, and apparently they feed him at 11 o'clock. Where is he? See if we can see him. Uh, he's gone. He was there last night. <laughs> it's almost eight o'clock. So yeah, we uh, decided that we were probably going to get moved on last night so if we stayed where we were because the police were going past and everything and we, you know, just the old gut feeling you thinking, Christ, we're going to get moved on at two o'clock in the morning or something. I don't know, guys, but what a little gem. Huh? What a little gem of a place. This is, yeah, like I said, it's Eye Mouth. And it's a beautiful little fishing village with its own little, its own little sandy beach. what we woke up to. This is why I love van life, yeah? travelling in the van. Because you can just get up, uh, we left at about 11 last night, pick somewhere on the map, blast up the uh, A1 in Scotland for an hour, and you end up somewhere like this. You don't know what it looks like, you take a punt, you read the uh, you read the reviews on Park for a night. Look at that. What a thing to wake up to. What a scene. It is stunning. Just having cereal in the bed. I'm, I'm still in bed. I've just got back in bed. So yeah, I'm going to stay in bed as well, because <laughs> I had a few glasses of champagne last night. So uh, yeah, just going to get back in bed. There's no parking restrictions here. It looks like it's free parking, because they want the uh, they want the visitors during the winter. So it looks like it's free parking. But uh, yeah, we're just going to stay here for a bit, wait for the sun to come up properly, and uh, go for a walk along that beautiful little beach. Right, babe. Okay. Right, so this really is what van life's all about, I suppose. Making some toast. Yeah, making some toast there. We've got some fresh coffee made. Mel's buttering our toast. And this. <laughs> we got the door open. It's winter. And we got the beach just there. Little cove. Beautiful little cove. I mean, it doesn't really... Well, it does get better, but... This isn't bad, considering considering we turned up at midnight <laughs> in the dark, in the pitch black. We didn't know where we were going, really. And then we, uh, you know, that's the beauty of it, the, the mystery. You just turn up in the middle of the night, wake up in the morning, and you've got a, co you know, you've got a cove, a beach on your doorstep. Right, so this interesting situation behind me, they're actually feeding that seal, so they feed the seal. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> you can wave, innit? Hi. Happy Hello. New Year. 
strange creature. <laughs> He's just looking at you. Hello. Oh, he's got a little bit of, bit of food on there, is he? Yeah, a little bit of, bit of a tail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's lazy, he wants it right in his mouth, eh? There you go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at him, just, just looking. Look at him, a lump. There he is. Wow. Well, I'm the best destroy it. Nice. Oh, They're getting Christmas cake. Uh, and this is where our journey ends. Uh, we decided we're going to go home now. Been on the road for five and a half days. So yeah, time to head home. So we've got six and a half, seven hours to get home. And I think we're gonna do it all day today. We're gonna just drive because uh, we were gonna stop somewhere else and have a, another night somewhere. But five, six days, we're, you know, that's enough really. We, we wanna head home now and just get some, uh, some creature comforts. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this lovely little place, this gem and Get the hell out of here. Uh, just stopped at a service station so yeah just need to uh, get some coffee and just eat some food and we're tired of eating you know restaurants and all that stuff and food we haven't prepared ourselves so we're just gonna just knock up some uh, tortellini in the van Seven hours of travelling. I look like I've come out of the out of the mountains, out of the wilderness, like a mountain man. So it was pretty cool. Loved every minute, uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching. So I'll speak to you guys next time. But please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, I'll speak to you guys when I'm looking more normal. <laughs> Take care.